Good evening, good morning, what day is it? Hey there, Spencer Bass, Crib Director of American Leather. As we all sit at home right now, and we're looking for something to inspire us, to bring us some education, some inspiration, something that feeds our mind in a positive way as we get through this moment in time, we've put together a mini-series called Behind the Seams at American Leather that brings some insight and some different colors, some inspiration, some new forms and shapes that we're working on. Hope you enjoy. Today we want to color your world. We want to talk about the color that's been most discussed this year. Pantone 19-4052. Classic blue. Blue represents calmness. Blue represents the color of dusk at night. Blue also doesn't make you feel so hungry. Blue also looks cool blue on blue. This mini-series is gonna represent a few different speakers talking about what blue means to you and how blue looks in your home, how blue looks in textiles, and just how blue makes you feel. Hey y'all, I'm Kristen Foster, Merchandising Manager for American Leather. As head of our cover selection, I'm here to talk to you today about blue and how it plays a huge part in our business here at American Leather. Over the past few seasons, we have really seen blue trending across all categories, from automotive to fashion to interior design, and specifically in furniture, um, from motion pieces to stationary pieces to sleepers, we continue to see customers gravitate more and more towards blue. In 2019 alone, blue made up 13% of our sales, so it has truly established itself as a new neutral for us. Try draping blue on comfort air chairs as an accent, on your living room sectional as a vibrant welcome to your home, or even on a sleeper to brighten up any guest room. Blue is an appealing and calming color that can add life and energy to any room without straying too far from your comfort zone. You know that game you play, what's your favorite color? Would you believe that blue is the answer 25 to 30% of the time? Doesn't matter what statistic you look at, I've looked at a bunch of them. Apparently the UK are huge blue lovers. They're actually up to 30%. But in the United States, one out of four people pick blue as their favorite color. So the question is what shade of blue? That's probably why it's so kind of got this magical spot that some people love kind of the sky light blue, others are much more into the deep navy blue. But what's the psychology behind it? Why is that color so attractive, so calming, so magnetic to people? If you have a minute, I'm gonna explain why. When you look at lighter blues, not surprisingly, you see that they have a lot to do with nature. So they bring you this intrinsic sense of calm, of almost like you feel when you look at this gorgeous cloudless sky or the reflection of water, right? Just this internal tranquility. Uh, if you love darker blue, it really reflects on uh, the need for authority. So the funny thing is, when you interview uh, people that love navy blue, or like the classic blue that was just picked the color of the year, that deep blue resonates with authority. So even CEOs often drive navy blue cars. The darker the color, the more intense the feeling. No matter what you think about the color blue personally, know that a giant amount of the population resonates with it. And as we're all in the need to connect to calm and to connect to a feeling of being in control, wherever that note or hue of blue shows up on the spectrum, know that there are people that will relate to it. If you take classic blue and you add it to eucalyptus, you're gonna find it has this kind of new take on tranquility. It's one of my really most favorite new pairings coming up right now. Uh, strongly recommended. I've seen it done with marigold for this kind of bright, almost uh, La Provence kind of feel to it. Whatever you do, if you're hanging out in the store or if you're buying for a store, this is a great time for you to come up with your signature pairing. Let's say you're resistant. Let's say when this conversation started, you're like, I don't really care. Do you know what I mean? I don't care what the color of the year is. I'm not, it's not gonna affect me. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm not gonna change. So I will just surprise you this way. As we're talking, every graphic artist is looking up classic blue and they're starting to put it on their ads on TV. So subtly you're being submerged 
into this new color. You make t-shirts, you're making classic blue. And you, you that I'm talking to right now, you know that you affect what people see on the floor in their furniture stores. This is a time to really look at how you're gonna drop it on the floor. So what, what blue story are you gonna tell? And what I mean by that, what blue story, is I think it's our job as merchants to talk about how we're gonna marry the color, how we're gonna combine this blue to make it have different personalities. Let me give you an example. If you drop a fuchsia with that, you're gonna have a hip, trendy, pop, more youthful hit to it. Now let's take the same depth of blue and run it with a butterscotch color. Classic, old world, right? That Can't you picture a brandy sniffing library on that one? So this is a great time, a great time for you to look at ads on TV to see how they're pairing it with color, at your own team, at your own personal artistry, and start to play with ways that you can impact this color. Hey guys, thanks for spending a little time with us today. I hope it brought you a little education, a little inspiration into what's happening with blue. And if you're feeling a little blue at this time, and you need a little calmness, go out to the sky, look at that dusk horizon and that perfect Pantone of classic blue, and I hope it brings you a little bit of calmness. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time.